Hi everyone, this is Judy from Judy's Handmade Creation and I have an earring, a crocheted earring and I'm going to be showing what kind of thread that I use to make my earrings and my choker necklaces but today I'm going to be showing my earrings that I make and what I use I use this kind of I use Aunt Lettuce crochet thread to make earrings and to make jewelry with and that's the kind of thread that I use it comes in different colors and you can use a D or E crochet hook with this that's what I usually use and this is the thread that I use for my earrings and necklaces I'm going to use black and I use pink I got other colors that I use but that's just some of the ones that I'm working on now and that's the color of yarn that I use and these are the hooks that I use this one is an E I don't know if you can see it and that's an E and this here is a D that's a D hook and that's a three point three point two one okay and that's the hooks that I used to, for this yarn here I mean thread and I'll show you some of the earrings that I made I made these earrings here these are crocheted earrings I made these and that was made with this thread here that thread and this is the ones I make all I do is I take and crochet them and then I'll put jump rings I put two jump rings on it can see the jump rings and that's the jump rings these are jump rings here that I use and then I put the ear wire on it and that's how I crochet them and you got with, with this you have to make sure you keep them about the same size and that's the pink ones that I made these are the pink ones and then I made these black ones black's hard to see on camera but these are crocheted too I don't know if you can see the these are crocheted these and I put the jump rings in the ear wire on it this is a set so when you're making earrings you try to keep them around the same size some people have a hard time keeping things around the same size Some th sometimes they're bigger than the other ones but I usually keep keep it the same size and And these are these measure about I don't know, I want to do my measure but these here measure let me see these earrings here measure probably I think about a quarter yeah these are 
one and one fourth one and a half inch yeah one and about one and a half inch long and then these are about one and a quarter wide at the widest part that's the size of those and then these are smaller and these measure about one and a quarter inch long and the widest part at, part at the bottom is probably one and three fourth I mean uh three fourth of an inch that's how wide these are and these are easy to make they only take a few minutes to make if you like to make earrings earrings are work up really quick and that's the first oh, this is the first pair that I made And they're pretty easy to make. I gotta keep them. That's the first pair. And they're pretty much about the same same size. I got them back and front. Because you want them to stay about the same same size so they don't be too big and one bigger than the other one. So this is the first. These are the air, first pair of earrings I made. And I like the way these look. This is a half cr double crochet there. And this this pair of earrings is double crochet and single crochet to give them the shape. And I just used silver wire for these, silver ear wires. I'll show you the, my jewelry box that I got that I keep all my jewelry, jewelry pieces in. I keep them in this because I do a lot of earrings. And I just keep them organized, all my pieces in here. I keep my glue and my small scissors in here. That way I have all my sewing needles, needles and all. And I keep all my jump rings like in these little cases. In all different sizes, jump rings. I got gold ones and I also have silver ones. All these you can get at Michaels. They're not these, they're not the ones that I want to show you. They're not the good ones. These are the better ones. But these are the silver ones that I use. And I also get the ear wires. You can get them either at Michaels or Walmart. Here's the ear wires that I use. And that's these here. That's what I put on the earrings. I get them in gold. And I also get them in silver. I can find the silver ones. I get them in silver. And these are the silver ones. They're hooked. And that's the silver ones that I use. And I use these to open, open and shut the ear wire, um, ear wires and the jump rings. And this is my jewelry finding box and you know how I keep you know when you crochet earrings and you want them to keep their shape because when you crochet these they're real soft and flimsy so what I do is to keep them where they'll keep their shape like that and they'll keep keep a nice shape when you wear them what I do is I take glue I take this you can use, either use um, that liquid starch that they got in the bottle at Walmart I think it's called stay flow starch maybe 
or I take and use tacky glue what I do is I put the squirt the tacky glue all on here and little on the back and then I just go and take water and put on it and dab it in and then I just take a paper towel after I get done I take a paper towel and squeeze all the excess water and glue out of it and then I just let them dry overnight and that makes them a little stiff so they won't be all flimsy and bend up uh, you can't see the the um, stitches on these I think you can see the stitches on these better these are half double crochet front and the back I'm going to show you the front and the back of these and they look nice that's the back they look good on both sides really but the black ones you really can't see I should have did these in a different color but this is the color I needed to make So this is this is the black ones and these work out really easy and I love to make crochet earrings so these are the ones that I'm working on today and this is the best yarn to use when you're making jewelry let me show you the pack this is the best yarn to use I think this is the best yarn to use. I mean, not yarn, but crochet thread for jewelry. If you want to make like a lacy look like this. And that's the best way. That's the way I do my earrings. And that's the supplies that I use. And I like to make jewelry. I like to make these. They're really easy to make. And that's about it. I hope I didn't forget anything to tell you what to use to make. handmade crochet earrings and they turn out really nice and these are the kind of hooks you use for this a size D 3.25 and a size E 3.50 and it tells you I think it tells you on the back of here what size of hook they use for use a D or E and that's the size of the hooks and these are really really easy to whip up yep they're really easy to whip up and I had so much fun making these and yes I hope that you like them Because these are really not really easy to make. Just come up with your however you want to make or get a pattern that you can use to make earrings. But these are the ones that I make. Like I said, these are half double crochet here. And the ones over here are double crochet and single crochet to get to shape it into a like a teardrop. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can see more of my project shares and the crafts that I do. And hit that bell so you'll be notified. And thank you for all my returning subscribers. And thank you for always watching. And be blessed. Bye-bye.